Hey, first grade. It is great to have you with me this week to do our project. We are actually going to be doing a weaving this week. And we're going to be making ours out of paper, but I will tell you that all over the world, there are different people that weave. And they use yarn and they use wool that is made into thread. They've there's all kinds of different things that are being made with weaving. Even the clothes we wear have been woven together. What we're going to do is a paper weaving, but first I have a book for you that is about a goat and how its wool is made into a woven blanket, a rug that is used. And then once you finish the book, I'm going to take you step by step of how to make our paper weaving this week. So first grade, here we are. We're going to be doing a weaving today. And I am really excited to see what you come up with to weave with. A couple of suggestions. If you have a newspaper or some type of different ads, you can use this as some paper. We're going to be doing a paper weaving. And you could also do maybe a coloring book. You're gonna need at least two pages. So if you want to find a coloring book and maybe color it in and then take that page out, you could have two pages or you could have a page from a coloring book or a page from the newspaper. You can also, if you have plain paper, you could do a plain paper and maybe make your own drawing on it and then we're gonna be doing the weaving with it. I chose I like these pattern coloring books. We use them at our house and there's all kinds of different patterns in there that you could color in. And then we're going to be doing some cutting with it. So you decide which supplies you want, get those gathered up, and then we, were, we will continue on with the next step. So if you want to do some coloring, you can use some markers if you have things at home or some crayons at home, or if you have colored pencils at home or it can just be black and white and it can just be the newspaper if you'd like. I pulled out some of my pictures that I've done a little bit of coloring on and this is what I'm gonna use for my example for you. So first step is we are going to make more of the loom or the portion that we're gonna be doing our weaving through. And to do that, you're gonna take your paper and you're going to fold it in half. Don't do a skinny fold. Let's do more of a wide fold. So you're gonna bring it down to the edges, set that down on your table. Remember my directions for folding as you hold the edges together, pull it to where the crease is that you're gonna be making it makes a little notch there. Then you can push it down with your hands, like maybe the top of a T. Then the next step is going to be, you're going to be needing some scissors. We're gonna do some cutting to make strips and to make this portion as well. You're going to have this part that opens be the part you do not cut. The only place we're gonna be cutting from is going to be the fold. Now, if you want to draw some lines first, so you don't cut too far because we don't wanna cut all the way up and then you cut it off. So we're going to be drawing a line on there so that you're not close to the edge. The lines that you want to cut are about an inch apart, or you can think of it as like one and a half of your knuckle lengths on your fingers. So you can draw a few lines on here. If you feel like you don't want to draw lines, that's okay. You can just start cutting. I'm going to get my lines drawn on. Now I have done five lines on my piece. And I am going to cut now. Remember, I'm cutting from the folded side, not the open side. 
If you cut from the open side, all the pieces are gonna fall apart. So you need to go from the fold is where I drew my lines up towards the opening. And then I'm going to cut up all my lines that I drew. I'm gonna try to end it so that they're all about the same distance away from the end of the paper. Keep going here. Now, this is going to be what we are going to weave through. So then the next paper you have is what we're going to be cutting to make strips to weave with. Okay, when you open it, you can see I've got all of these little slots now in my paper. And that is exactly what you need. Now, I'm gonna set that aside. And I'm gonna take my other paper and I am going to try to do my best to cut some straight lines. If it helps to draw them first, that would be fine. Or if you wanna use another straight edge, if you're worried about cutting them not straight, you can put a piece of paper on there and draw with a pencil and you'll have a straight looking line. I am going to get mine cut apart. Same thing, you wanna be about that first joint of your finger and a little bit into the next one wide. Here's my strip. I'm going to cut another one. I'm gonna cut another one. Now you can see, <clears throat> if you want your picture to go in order when you start weaving, put this so that your first one, you're making a pile of first and then second and then third. If it doesn't matter what your paper looks like and you don't care if the picture makes sense when you weave it, then you don't have to worry about putting it in order. I'm gonna stop there for a moment so I can show you how to weave. So I have my strips and I am going to now start the pattern of weaving, which we've done a little bit of weaving in kindergarten. So if you were with me, hopefully you remember a little bit of what we talked about, but a pattern <clears throat> of weaving is over and under. You can think about going up and going down, going up, going down. And you're gonna take your strip and we're going to start over, under, over, and then <coughs> under, over, and under. That's my first strip. And I'm going to keep going down to the next row. Now my next one has to be opposite of my first one. You can't make them all do the same start because then they'll all fall out. So you wanna, if this one is over, my next one has to be, anybody think of it? It will be under. Okay, so this is over. My next one is gonna be under and then over, and under and over, and under and over. And did you see how I'm pushing my strips towards each other? You want them to be nice and tight next to each other. They're good next door neighbors and they wanna be close. Now I'm gonna get my next one and I did this one under, so my next one's gonna be, hmm, it's gonna be over. If you said over, you were correct. So I'm gonna take over, under, over, under, over, under, to end it. Okay, and same thing, I'm gonna push my strip up so it's next to my other one. I'm gonna get my next strip. This one we started was over, so my next one's gonna be under, over, under, over, and under, and over, and I'm gonna push it up again so it's nice and tight. 
I probably have room for about two more strips. So I'm gonna cut this one, and the next one. We're gonna quickly put those in. And then to end your weaving, if you have glue at home, you can glue your strips down. And what that means, we'll show you here once I get these last two strips in. So over, under, over and under to end that strip. And I've got one more to go through. Now, I will tell you, the last strip gets a little hard because right now, I don't have those open cracks anymore. I've got my pieces that are woven together. So doing the last piece might be a little difficult. You might have to make this strip a little skinnier to go through. But you start opposite of what your last strip was and then go across. I'm pull this here over and I'm gonna go back under and back over and then I have all of my pieces woven now the last step is if you have a glue stick at home you are going to glue these little edges of your strips down if you don't have glue at home that is okay it will still stay woven together. But if you do have glue, you can, that's the last step, is you put a little bit of glue and press it down. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the back side because you can see I've got loose ends back here that you can glue and press down. And that is how you do a paper weaving. I cannot wait to see your designs that you've come up with. If you're gonna do newspaper or if you're gonna do a coloring book, and if you've colored it or if you've left it black and white. And maybe we could even have some fun guessing of what picture you cut apart. I hope you have fun weaving this week. And if you have any questions, please let me know.